Hi guys, I'm Abhinav. I'm at Speedmonk's Performance Center in Gurgaon today. And behind me is a Royal Enfield Himalayan 450. Now, we're starting a project series today, a little build that we're going to do on this motorcycle. Um, the Himalayan, uh, I'm sure you've seen reviews so far, many of you would have ridden this bike. It's a lovely adventure tourer. But I feel that this bike has a lot of potential to turn into, uh, you know, an off-road enthusiast motorcycle on a budget. So, like a budget rally motorcycle. And we're going to take this motorcycle in that direction here at Speed Monks. Uh, nobody in the market makes performance parts for it yet. So, you know, we'll add the performance bits later. But for now, at least in this video today, we are just going to start dropping a little bit of weight from the motorcycle. Uh, I'm sure you people have seen the spec sheets. This motorcycle is 181 kg dry. Uh, now, the bike feels extremely light to ride. But how will it feel if we eventually manage to drop some 20 kilos off the bike? Uh, we're not going to be dropping 20 kilos today, but we'll, we'll start. We'll start in the right direction. So let me introduce you to Ajay. Ajay bhai, please have a seat. So, Ajay is the head technician at Speed Monks and very graciously he has accepted to help us. He will uh, work on the bike today and uh, later whenever, you know, we do more videos on it. So, he's going to start stripping the motorcycle for us. So, Ajay bhai, aaj mm -hmm. we will start with, sabse pehle ye piche wala rack utarenge. Yeah, rack. And what I'll also do is guys, you know, I will weigh each and every part that we take off the motorcycle and we'll get to a ballpark figure of how much weight we are taking off the bike. The rear rack is held by four bolts, six, uh, number six Allen bolts, one, two, three, and four. Chalo, anyway, so this is off, the rear rack. Uh, bought a little scale from Amazon. The rear rack with the four bolts is about 1915 grams. So, just by removing the rear rack of the motorcycle, we have dropped almost two kilos off the bike. There's one more thing on the motorcycle that it isn't here right now, and that is the sari guard. Now, this motorcycle did not come with it, but a sari guard is something that is mandatory on all motorcycles. So I know the weight of the sari guard. It's, a, it's one kg and 20 grams. So that also comes off the motorcycle. I think we'll save at least a kilo and a half just by removing the center stand. Easily. Easily. And it's off. The center stand comes out to be 2 kgs and 95 grams. So that's another 2 kilos off the bike. This is the rally seat and um, it comes with a toolkit just like the regular motorcycle. Now, I don't need the toolkit on the bike because I carry a toolkit on me, which is a little bit more detailed than this motorcycle. So I'm going to remove the toolkit off the bike. Whenever I'm riding, I carry a separate kind of toolkit. This is 620 grams. The next thing that we have removed from the motorcycle is this chain guard. This would probably just be 100 grams or so, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Weight coming off is weight coming off. 205 grams. 205 for this. This motorcycle is a single person motorcycle. I'll never have a pillion on the bike. We don't really need passenger foot pegs on it. So we're going to take these off. I wish Ari made this motorcycle in a way because the subframe is detachable. I wish the foot peg hangers were also detachable so that you could have just unbolted them, but these are welded to the frame. Eventually, we will chop these off as well. But for now, we're just taking the foot pegs off. This is like Tiger. In the Tiger frame, the holder of foot pegs is welded with the chassis. It's like Tiger. It's 130 grams per side. That would make it 260 grams that we are losing from the passenger foot pegs. One of my favorite mods that I make on uh, most motorcycles, which, you know, do off-road riding are serrated foot pegs. Now, the stock foot peg on the Himalayan, if the camera comes close, you'd see that there's a rubber piece in here. And below it is a metal serrated uh, foot peg, which I think will do the job for uh, decent off-roading. 
And if you just take these three bolts off, which are here, there are, it's, the rubber is held by three bolts. Uh, if the camera goes under, you'll be able to see the three bolts. So if you take the three bolts off, you can take the uh, foot peg, uh, the rubber of the foot peg off. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to replace it with a motor and rally foot peg because just take a look at this. These foot pegs, they are longer. So, you know, your foot never slips off the bike. And they're also slightly wider. If you'd see, so it's wider, it's longer, it gives you a lot better uh, feel of the foot peg and you just feel more planted on the motorcycle. And the uh, advantage here is it's also lighter. How much lighter? We'll just see. Because uh, remember, this is made out of stainless steel. Uh, this is cast stainless steel. And these uh, foot pegs, they are metal. It's uh, either mild steel or iron, I don't know. Five hundred and thirty-five grams, one stock foot peg. So this is two sixty grams. That was five thirty-five. So we are saving two hundred and seventy-five grams per foot peg. So that is an overall saving of um, five hundred and fifty grams on the uh, both the front foot pegs. Next on the agenda is the mirrors. We will remove the stock mirrors, which are fairly heavy. Um, I wouldn't recommend everybody to get rid of mirrors, but this is not really a conventional road build, right? So we will have mirrors on the bike, just not these stock ones. I'm gonna weigh the mirror now. 445 grams. Stock mirrors were 445, 445 grams each, so that's 890 grams. We are replacing them with these double take uh, trail mirrors. So what these do is, let me just get them up close. They mount on the handlebar with a zip tie like this. And uh, you get a decent view on the trail with these. Now I'm not gonna keep them for long. These are my friend Saransh's mirrors that I'm trying out. I'm gonna buy a set later for the build. But for now, let me just show you the weight. Thirty grams. So thirty, thirty-five, thirty grams. Let's say, let's say thirty-five grams. So seventy grams for these. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's all right. I get a decent vision of, I mean, it's okay, it's bearable. I can see from under my arm, whatever is coming behind me, or if I want to take a turn or something, I think it's manageable, it's doable. We have saved 820 grams by replacing the mirrors. Now onto the big one, we are going to remove the, these big upper crash bars from the bike, which will save about three kilos or so. Ajay bhai, this is on three bolts. हाँ तीन बोल्ट्स पे लगा हुआ है एक यहाँ पे एक है ये वाला जो मीटर का ब्रैकेट है हाँ दो इसके साथ दो हाँ और एक थर्ड ही है ठीक है नीचे राइट जो इंजन के हैंगर पे जा रहा है ओके the cage is off let me show you how the bike looks without the cage I think it looks nicer it definitely looks nicer to me without the cage you guys tell me what you think eventually we'll be putting a rally cowl also at the back uh, it's still in pre-production phase, but it should be coming to me soon enough. And uh, yeah, this is the bike without the cage. I don't know if you've seen it without the cage before, but yeah, we've already taken off the other side. Here's what it looks like. One point six seven five. So 1.675 each side, that is uh, 3.350. So three kilos, 350 grams directly off the bike. When we take off the, uh, you know, the cage and the front indicators. Now what we'll do is we'll create a bracket. Now fabrication and all will happen later. Today we're just removing parts to see what all can be removed. Um, and yeah. We'll create a small fabric, uh, uh, we'll fabricate a small bracket in aluminium, which will hold the indicators. Uh, for now, we're gonna run it without the front indicator because it's only gonna be written on the trail where these things don't really matter. 
So yeah, that's 3.350 grams of 3.350 kg directly off the bike. We are trying to remove the number plate bracket. I'm going to relocate the number plate later. But for now, we're gonna just remove it because I don't really like the way it's positioned. So it's two bolts, right, brother? Yes, it's two bolts. It's two bolts that are on the headlight mount. Yes. And then the entire headlight is going to move slightly down. So do you see this uh, upper bolt? This is going to come here. I think the international model is, the headlight is mounted like that in the lower position because they don't require a front number plate. Okay. Let's do this too, wait. Now, when all the things have done, then... Do it, do it, wait. 210 grams. Okay. Including the number plate, but the number plate is going to go back either in the form of a sticker or this. We'll figure that out. We are not done yet. Uh, now what we'll do is we are going to tweak the front fender. Uh, if you take a look at this, the lower fender, we don't really need it on the bike. Anyway, since I'm going to run knobbies, uh, what's going to happen is the knobbies, they will foul with the fender because the knobbies are always, you know, taller and um, muck will get stuck there. So, I don't want to remove the entire fender. What I will do is, we will just uh, cut off the fender from here because uh, upside down fork, so you have to protect the fork stanchions. You don't want debris and, you know, rocks to hit and damage the inner tubes. So, we're just going to cut off the fender. We're gonna cut it from here. We'll first open it. And because it's, you know, uh, on these two bolts and it's hard plastic, it should stay. It shouldn't really flop around. I had a small concern that, you know, um, these wires, the brake wire and the ABS wire, they are mounted on the fender over here. But um, once the fender is off, I was, my fear is, you know, what if they foul with the tire? But that's not, that's, Something which won't happen because I've seen RE Himalayan test bikes running without the front fender. So if it did not happen there, it shouldn't happen here as well. I think it looks pretty good, na, without the front fender. But it's a race bike type. But you have to stanchions. So you have to cut it. We will cut the complete mount from here. Grinder. So now, नहीं लगेगा वो touch नहीं करेगा बिल्कुल भी touch नहीं करेगा so we have the upper beak to take care of things there and you know these will protect the stanchions and that is what matters the fender that we chopped off look at the weight four hundred and 75 grams of the front fender. Work's done. We've increased the preload by two uh, at the rear. It was in the middle right now. We have uh, adjusted the brake lever. We've adjusted the gear lever. We have adjusted the handlebars as well. It's almost 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. at night. And uh, I'm just going to tell you now how much weight I we managed to drop from the bike today. So the rear rack, 1915 grams. Sari guard. Uh, 1020 grams, center stand 2095 grams, toolkit 620 grams but I think the toolkit of this motorcycle it's quite comprehensive so I'm going to keep that on the bike. In fact I've put it back because it has the C spanner, it has a lot of allen keys, uh, axle openers etc so I think the toolkit is really worth keeping. So we're not going to count that. Chain guard 205 grams, rear foot pegs 260 grams, uh, front foot pegs, 550 grams. Mirrors, we saved 820 grams. Front cage, 3350 grams, which is the upper crash bars. Front number plate, uh, hanger and all, 210 grams. Front fender, 475 grams. So that comes out to be 11.3 kilos, 11.31 kilos. I'm gonna subtract the toolkit, 620. So we've managed to drop uh, 10.7 kilos off the bike today, which I think is quite significant. And uh, this is just phase one, step one, where we didn't really spend money on the bike. We just took off parts. Uh, next week onwards, we'll start, you know, 
putting specialized parts uh, and you know we'll make it much lighter we, we're gonna try and drop another 10 kilos off the motorcycle and then um, once we are there once we have our uh, new wheels new tires then we're gonna start adding a little bit of performance to the bike as well so stay tuned we will be building this motorcycle here at speed monks ajay bhai Haan thank you bhai. so much you're welcome paanch ghante lagya hume paanch ghante bhai humne 530 ke round work shuru kiya tha yeah so it took it took time because you know this is a very new motorcycle we we are not familiar with the bike so it takes time to figure things out and then we also have to shoot so it takes a little bit of time you put in that extra care you put in that extra effort so yeah it's 10 pm uh, we're going to sign off thank you so much for watching this motorcycle oh by the way we ha we do have the bash plate on the motorcycle which is adding weight we have a radiator guard which adds weight we have hand guards over here which again add weight now i'm not considering this uh, weight addition right now Finally, what we'll do is once the build is completely done, we will weigh the motorcycle and I'll tell you guys how much it weighs in totality with fuel, etc. But for now, let's just say 10.7 uh, kilos off the motorcycle today. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.